Yeah, oh yeah, they're circling. Look at them circle. Oh, one's coming. Oh, I see him. Oh, see him. Oh. oh, there it is. There it is. Got a boy talking. Oh, he's a ripper. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Addicted Fishing video. Today we have two star guest appearance once again. We got my man Taku back in the house and we are back in Nia Bay on the amazing and beautiful Macaw tribal land and today is a very special day. We came back to see our awesome buddy Ben at Windsong Charters to go out and do a little fishing and he let us know that we are showing up for the absolute favorite day of all the people around here and that is Macaw Days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday of this week is a huge tribal festival so before we go fishing today we're going to take you and show you some of that, walk through the festival and then go smash on some fish. We have an incredible recipe menu set for today with my man here. Thanks for joining us again What's on, going on, on Addicted here. We got a heck of a day. Let's go check it out. going with the festivities and let you enjoy a great lineup today. We have a lot of things going on and, and it's all going to start with our flag race and we just want to thank everyone for, for their time to be here and learn about our culture and come home and visit your family. So a big part of Macaw Fest, just like any tribal gathering, especially on the coastal reservations, is the salmon feast. So this is a very authentic way to cook salmon. We've done it a few times here on Addicted. I know Taku's done this recipe quite a bit of times, but absolutely my very favorite way to eat a salmon is on a cedar stick over an open alder fire. They throw the beech wood on it to get that saltiness out of the wood. That salty flavor soaks into the meat and it's absolutely delicious. So here's wishing you a very happy Macaw Days. the afternoon's adventures. Got my fresh hat on, a little petroglyph up there, some whale hunter artwork on it, and hopefully it's gonna bring us some good luck. We're headed down to the boat now. We're going out with Ben on Windsong Charters. You guys have seen us film with him before, but never with my man Taku. And we have a, a really long night ahead of us now. It's already been a really fun, cool day, and being a part of any sort of experience like we saw here today in any culture is awesome, but these coastal reservations are just an incredible place to spend time and to make friends, especially if you're somebody like me who loves salmon and steelhead fishing, it's the culture out here. And to be invited in and to experience this today and, and to feel like family among friends in a place like this is, is just awesome. So what a cool day so far. Thanks so much to the Macaw Nation for allowing us to come out and spend this time with you guys. And thank you so much to Windsong Charters for inviting us on the boat this afternoon. So let's go down and meet up with Ben, get out in the ocean and see what happens next. Hey, good. I'm David. Well, team. Hey, I'm Ben. Nice to meet you too. I've been pushing for like 72 hours. My son's running a food truck. We're just having a blast. I need like four hours on the water with some friends just yeah. to rest. And so uh, my hope is that we just have a blast and, and have a good time. So, do it. Ready? Sounds Let's good. Go. Thanks so much, brother. Of course, brother. So 
go. This is a copper pipe jig. Big, it's copper and it's a pipe. Okay, you're gonna grab this, honey. You're gonna hold it under your armpit just like this. One arm under the armpit, just like this. This is how you let the line out. You push that down, but keep your thumb on it. Okay. Push it down hard. And then you're just gonna take your thumb off and let her go. And it's like 600 feet, so you just let it go until you'll feel it go bump. And once it hits the bottom, I'll get it down there for you. There you go. Thumb on it. And you'll feel it hit. Okay, there it is. Okay. Flip that forward. Now you're gonna reel up a little bit. Oh, okay. so let me see. Let me show you an example of how we're gonna fish it now. Now that we're down there, hit the bottom. You pick it up. And you're just gonna really yank. You don't feel okay. bottom every couple. You're gonna tap right back down. Oh yeah. There it is. Work that. We're going. We're going. Come on now. Oh yeah. I got one. <laughs> okay. I was just showing her how. I think it's a rockfish though. Electric reel! Electric reel! That's a boy talking! Yeah. I think I just got a rock next up. Little! No. Or it's nothing. Black it's a little black card! Yes! Yes! Black card, talk to oh. <laughs> Hold on. Did I get him? Nope. Oh, is he gonna be come gone. back? He's gone. Do it again. That's all right. That Catch one didn't count. One. There you go. Oh, Stop it. Stop it. Little guy. There you go. Thank you. So we're in the little hole. We gotta move to the big hole, boys. You wanna move? All right, let's give it just one more minute. Okay, bring. So you don't have to reel anymore. Just bring your tip up and back to me. Little lean, no? Okay, here we go, nice lead. Nice lead. Nice, don't Wanna hold it? Yeah. That's a Get nice a picture lead. there. <laughs> High five. Congratulations. Nice job. All right, let's do it again. Okay, so, so far, instant action. We got three different species already. We got black cod, one of the tastiest fish in the entire ocean. We have halibut, we got ling cod. We're gonna keep on this trip. We're gonna move a little bit further and see if we can get into the bigger halibut. So far, we have some good eating fish. Let's we'll see if we can get some bigger halibut in the boat. Okay, did you have one? You just said it was a fish. No, I'm saying when you go up and you feel it's hard, that's until so he's gone. That's all right, keep going. Like that, that's a fish. Right? Yes, it is. Okay, okay. turn the thing on. Why do I have the worst luck? You take any? We lost three, almost. You lost three? Yeah, all right, right at the freaking boat. Okay, we reset, drop number two. Brooks in the bathroom now. We're trying to get her her first fish. She hasn't gotten to come out in the ocean with me yet. So this is very exciting to try to get her into a halibut. We lost three black cod as they came to the boat. We got wrapped with some other rods because they kept all these fish kept going crazy. So when she gets back out here, we're gonna drop down and see if we can get her first halibut ever. Let's start cheering everybody. Let's go, bro. Oh, Yep, that's a halibut for sure. So? Yep, you can tell by the head shakes because these things are flat when they're coming up. So their head shakes are more up and down rather than kind of a side to side. So it looks like a halibut. Oh, there he is. There he is, Dawson. We're doubled up. The ladies are doubled up. Okay, start reeling, start reeling. Good job, babe. Let's see him. Keep going, don't stop. Don't even pump, just straight reel. What is that? What is that? That's a halibut. That's a butt. He's got a butt. That's a butt. That's a butt. It's a, a nice butt. Okay, then you're gonna lift the line right to my hand right about now. Good job. You want me to kick it? All right, we'll just keep it for her. Okay. Yeah. Here we go, Brooke. What is this? Can't 
Hell yeah. Okay, we got cool. color. Yep, big black cod. Really nice one. Good job, babe. Big black cod. Yeah. Woo, look at that. Good. That's one yeah, of the best tasting just... fish in the world. Ooh, that's a good Absolutely. one. Nice size too. These have to be some of the nicer yeah. ones I've gotten like, on like a lot of trips. Yeah. Usually they're only like half the size, yeah. and we get all excited about them. But yeah, first caught of the day. some rough sleep last night. There's people partying, parked next to us, making noise all night long. Poor Sean was sleeping out of the cot and barely got any sleep. I slept like a rock. I don't even know what happened. But all I know is that what's about to happen is gonna be epic. We just showed up to some friends' property. I got some very special permission to come and fish on this, some sacred property, and I cannot wait to cast the line in here. You guys are gonna wanna stick around and watch this. <laughs> Yeah, right? Yeah. How you guys doing? Good, good. Look at this guy! I'm trying it. Okay. I'm doing the twiddle, Big Dave. Are you watching? It's about to happen. Okay, we got two fish on behind us at the same time. I'm going crazy. I'm gonna start freaking out here. That seems like a pretty Chinooky color. Which one do you think? This one? Yeah. Or this one? Yeah, I'd give that a try. That's a whole faithful. Tidal slug. Okay, here we go. Got my man Bo, who's gonna show me how it's done here today. So Bo lives up here. His family actually owns this property. And then here, he's the fishiest little dude. In these parts, dude, look at him. Look at him over here. All right, here we go, dude. How deep do I go? Uh, Holy moly! Okay, I get it now. All right, round two. Right on top where they just jumped. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Let's double up, Bo. 
Nice job, dude. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, oh he came off? Freaking beads. It's not both strong, just a big old bead. Pretty badass, looks like about a 16 mil. Like glow in the dark bead, that like peachy color. And he's out fishing everybody today. So we got jigs and beads today. I thought, oh, what a sound. Oh, he's a ripper. Nice. Yeah, one's darker. Dark one. It's alright, because it's the reason we keep fishing, right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Somehow we're in the tide water, but you and I both got the only two dark fish in here. <laughs> nice fish, though. But yeah. There you go. Got to get the day started. Nice. I will. Oh, you're right on it. Oh, they just went. Yeah, oh, those are some dinosaurs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're circling. Look at this. Oh, one's coming. Is that? Oh, he's right in the middle of it. I'm usually fishy. I never get to see this. Yeah, I never get to see this. This is actually really neat. Oh, there it is. There it is. one of the day first keeper that is one big dark one it's been just a constant freaking all-out bite here we need to get back in the water look at that another beauty that one's even chromer than the last I got a really cool menu idea planned for tonight's cook it's been an awesome day of fishing let's go eat some food all right it's time to cook and we have 
a really, really cool recipe and some really cool guests coming up here. Obviously, we have Taku on this trip. But we also have some ladies we just met down here on the bank that are about to share something very special with us. So after I'm done getting the salmon ready, you guys are gonna go over to them. And they're gonna show you the most important part of this meal. Look at the sea lice on this. Wow. That's fresh. Coming in with the ocean. What an incredible fish. Beautiful male. It's really hard to tell when they're this fresh, but normally, if that, uh, that maxillary fin doesn't go past the eye much, it's a female, but this one here really threw me off. I would've guessed this was a female all day. Wow. Just beautiful meat. That taku knife just doing some work. Doing work, man. Doing work with the taku knife. Best gift Marlon ever gave me. Alright, that's what we're gonna do now. So I'm gonna take this fish. I'm gonna get the skin off. So good way to do that. Put that knife right at 45 degree angle and you work the skin back to the blade rather than the blade towards the skin. Just like that. Take a chopping block and go. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna feel to the first set of bones, which is about really halfway up the body of that fish. And then I'm gonna take these bones out. That's important for this dish that we're about to do. There we go, lay that piece aside. We're just gonna chunk it up, because this is basically what we're gonna be doing here is Indian fried bread tacos. And we're gonna send you over to Lorraine and show you guys exactly how to make the fried bread itself here in just a second. But we're just basically making taco meat with this. So I'm gonna chunk it up. Oh, it's such beautiful meat. That way it's not too hard to chunk up because I want it to look almost like a burger. Once it's done in the pan, we'll get it all chopped up, get it seasoned up. Let's go make some fried breads. So we're going a little more of the secret seasoning I've been teasing to you guys. This has kind of got a little bit of a taco hint to it. Mmm, that smells good. That smells good. Okay, a little bit of black pepper on there. I'm gonna go just a little oil on the pan, keep this stuff from sticking too bad. That's a beautiful looking pan of meat there. And then you put a hole in the middle. Okay. So what goes into this? What is the what's the recipe that goes into making the traditional um, fry bread? We use um, baking baking powder, powder, powdered milk, oil, and salt. Okay, and that's it. And just some flour. Yeah, and yeah, a little, little bit of oil. Gotcha. Just enough so it makes it gets solid, kind of holds together enough. Yeah. Okay. Now fry breads are abs. Oh, it doesn't even stick to your hands. No. How convenient. <laughs> How convenient for someone like me. Do you say that fry breads are different on a lot of different breads throughout the country? Because well, I've the, seen different styles. Some I've seen are really big and thick, oh, and yeah, doughy, Lorraine, Lorraine and then there's other ones that are almost like taco shells, mm -hmm. you know, like 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 traditional taco shells. And then there's ones that are in between, yeah. that are kind of flat and crispy. And that's probably my favorite part about trying them everywhere I go. The Indian taco is my favorite, probably one of my favorite dishes ever. I eat them every time I see one on a menu or I see a stand for one, I have to pull over. There's also the uh, Navajo fry bread. Yeah. It's a lot different than this. Yeah. Yeah, Lorraine was saying about how you could just be, you know, 10 minutes away and, you know, different recipes completely. So there's oh, a lot of different recipes. ways about, you know, how to do this. I think that's really cool part about it is having the same idea and concept, just different styles. So where did you learn? You just learned from your mother and... Yeah, my mom. Down. Yeah. Relatives and... Uh, I know I'm not even sure the granddaughters know how to do it anymore, but yeah, I think my daughter could do it if she had to. I know most places, especially on the coastline, you know, in Washington, like we are here, each house, basically each village, each place, you know, each res going up the coastline does it a little bit differently. Yeah, the I'm, ones we had yesterday, the Macaw Days, they were really good, but they were probably some of the biggest and thickest 
that I've ever seen, you know, but just a totally different flavor with the same ingredients. It's, it's awesome. Well, because we're limited by the size of the pan we can cook it in, mm -hmm. that's why we're making them smaller. But that's normally perfect. it's dinner size. Right. Uh, plate for tacos, this is the perfect size. So yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You make it how, however you need to, as big or as small as you want. But traditionally, it's a bigger, yeah. a bigger piece of bread. Well, speaking of which, I better go flip the fish. Addicted family. Taku just looked up some magic. Some recipes I've never heard of, and some recipes I'll never forget. And if you want to see those recipes, go check out Taku's. He's basically going to make a movie out of what we've made the last few yeah. days. We've been filming Stay Fishies together, we've been filming addicted videos, and Taku's putting together an absolutely epic video. It yeah, turned so, out man. so good. I think so. Cheers. Thank Cheers, you so much, man. brother. No, thank you. Thanks for bringing me. Here's a little gift. Oh it's goodness. jerky, beef jerky made at uh, on our reservation, Nam Bay Pueblo. And my brother in law is the one that makes it, and it's okay. Nam Bay Waterfalls jerky, and we think it's the best. It looks amazing. It's all light and crispy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Put it in the microwave, and it turns. It's, um, it's good. Honey, my goodness. That one is uh, lemon pepper. Oh, wow. How do they get it so thin? I think the butcher does it. Look at this, everyone. You can almost see through it. But the fat wow. in there, and it's just amazing. That is delicious. Thank you so much. Wow. That's a spread. Ladies first. Enough said. Ugly water. Cheers. They're not on ice, but we've been very bad about Ooh. giving things to drink. Mm. Nothing better than fresh fish. Like literally fresh, like still didn't even go on ice, this fish. Didn't even make it on the ice before it got eaten. River to fry bread. Well, my man, what a crazy couple days. We did it right yet again. We're actually filming another Stay Fishy Adventure together, you guys, and Taku's putting together probably a long format video. So be sure to look out for Taku's channel and look out for the video he's gonna have from this long trip that we've been doing. And then go check out the Stay Fishy Adventure because it's a whole new thing, whole different bag of tricks and some incredible fishing like you just saw here too. So thank you all so much for being here everybody. Until next week, you all stay fishy. We'll see you out there.